And here's the secret for maximum flavor. Hey, hey, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Shanae, and today I'm going to show you how to make really fun and addicting appetizer. It's one of my favorite recipes to make and really easy. You only need three ingredients. In this video, I'm going to share with you lots of tips and tricks on handling the jalapenos and how to secure the bacon on the jalapenos and how to achieve maximum flavor with just three ingredients. So let's get started. For this recipe, you will need thin cut bacon, whipped cream cheese on this. I'll talk about it a little bit later and you will need jalapenos. So first we'll prepare our jalapenos and we'll cut it in half horizontally. And what I like to pay attention to is to this tail. I like to cut the tail in half as much as possible so that each half gets a little bit of a tail. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So see, each jalapeno has tail on the end. I like to see that because it's nice decoration and also really easy to grab it, I feel like. And now I will share with you a tip on how to handle the jalapenos. You need to be really careful not to get too much spicy oil on your fingers. If you would like, you can also use latex gloves. After we have the jalapenos, what we'll do is using a nice sharp paring knife, cut along the top like so. And then cut the rib on the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect. Do the same thing on this other side. And now, instead of using your fingers, use a spoon, scoop out the ribs. And if you didn't cut all the way, you can use your spoon to cut further. And just scrape off any seeds. Now, did you know the spiciness comes from the ribs and seeds and not necessarily from the flesh of the peppers? You can adjust the spiciness by leaving as much or as little ribs as you would like. So if you don't want to overly spicy jalapeno poppers, then you just go ahead and remove all the ribs like this one. And if you do want a little bit spicy, then you just go ahead and leave some ribs. There you go. So continue on with the rest of the jalapenos. So I'm pretty much done. As soon as you're done with your jalapenos, wash your hands thoroughly with soap water. You don't touch any sensitive areas, especially your eyes. It will burn, it will be so painful. And if you do touch a sensitive area and it's burning, make sure to wash it with milk immediately. Milk helps to neutralize the oil and minimizes the burning. Hopefully that's a helpful tip for you. So I'm gonna clean up and I'll be right back. Now we're gonna fill our jalapeno house with whipped cream cheese. We're going to use flavored whipped cream cheese. And today I'm using spicy jalapeno just to add a little bit spiciness. You can use any type of savory flavored cream cheese. This is not sponsored of course, but I happen to love Philadelphia whipped cream cheese, but choose whatever you like. And I like whipped cream cheese because it's really nice and light compared to the block cream cheese and again, flavored, maximum flavor. You can add shredded cheese and whatnot if you would like to, but I usually don't go further because it's already pretty rich appetizer and whipped cream cheese flavored version works perfectly. So basically just evenly spread it and arrange it on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or foil. My grocery store had the really big jalapenos this time. We're gonna have really big appetizers today. So now we're going to wrap our jalapenos with bacon. And typically I use smaller jalapenos, like small to medium jalapenos. And so I usually cut the strip in half and use half of the strip. But today, because these jalapenos are so ginormous, I'm going to use the whole bacon. 
Now, I may need to cut it a little bit too, uh, like use two thirds of it or something. So the important thing is when you're wrapping, make sure your ends are tucked on the bottom and then wrap it around, slightly overlapping, which is fine. Yeah, the whole, uh, whole bacon would be perfect. So you wanna ensure both ends are landing on the bottom so that they, you don't need to have a toothpick to secure. With them, um, half of the bacon, if you feel like they're not reaching underneath, you feel free to like stretch it a little bit, which works just fine. Arrange them on the baking sheet like so, and keep on going. Oh, and another tip is I forgot to mention, use thin cut bacon. That way they stay in place nicely and cooks much faster than thick cut. Thick cut, it's really hard to keep them in place because they don't like to wrap around stuff. So keep on going. All right, it's all prepared and I'm going to bake this at 400 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes until the bacon is nice and crispy and I'll show you when they come up. My jalapeno poppers are done and it smells amazing and I lined a plate with a paper towel and I'm going to transfer a few of this onto a plate and we'll give it a try. Let's try this one. Mm. Perfect. The jalapeno peppers are soft and crispy, chewy bacon. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And creamy cream cheese, unbelievably good. And I cannot wait for you to try this recipe. And if you need more crowd-pleasing appetizer like this, check out my baked steak fries. They're so good too. And I'll see you next time. Bye.